Jonathan Paul. Our first film tonight is Funny People. Released on July 31st, 2009 from a budget of $75 million, this Judd Apatow dramedy starring Adam Sandler and Seth Rogen went on to gross just $61 million, making it one of the bigger flops in Sandler's and Apatow's otherwise very fruitful career. Funny People was created by these two, dare I say, comedy legends. So how come when Apatow and Sandler team up, the result is kind of subpar? The reason is simple, and it's also the main reason I was disappointed by this film. The trailers lied to us. Growing up watching films as a kid, I always used to joke with my friends like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if, you know, you released a trailer for a movie that had nothing to do with the film? That's kind of what they did here with Funny People. I mean, you've got Adam Sandler, Seth Rogen, Jonah Hill, Leslie Mann. This movie should have been hilarious, and in certain scenes, notably those where you've already seen in the trailer, the movie actually is quite funny. Unfortunately, the laughs are few and far between in this film, which tells the story of an over-the-hill comedian, George Simmons, played by Adam Sandler. He's diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia and is given an 8% chance to live. Simmons befriends a local upstart comedian, Ira Wright, played by Rogan, to help him deal with his life now that he's slowly dying. Watching Simmons deal with the realization of his death and the character play between him and Wright is the real heart of this film. It's surprising and very emotional and enjoyable for the first half of the movie. That's right, the first half of the movie. This movie is a two and a half hour long film, and spoiler alert, Simmons finds out he's not really going to die about 90 minutes in. The movie should have ended right there. The remaining hour of the movie is this ridiculous situational and confusing romance plot that rears its head awfully late in the runtime. What was once a celebrity struggle with a life-ending disease has now become a bad episode of Three's Company. The movie completely lost me here, with many of the characters' motivations coming seemingly out of nowhere. Funny people ended up becoming sad and unfunny people for me. But let's see what you thought. Dylan Durante wrote, Funny People was the perfect blend of drama and comedy. It was funny when it needed to be and serious in the serious acts. Sandler and Rogan made the perfect cast. Penn City Punk writes, Funny People was an alright movie, but I'm glad I rented it before I bought it. It had its ups and downs, but overall I think it's just a rental you can have a couple of laughs with. Lulu Stories wrote, The thing with Funny People is it's depressing and real. It's a drama and I was disappointed with it because I expected a comedy. Well, that's what you guys said, so now let's take a look at what I thought on the rate matic Now, I'm going to change up the rules a little bit. In the past, the rate matic reflected what you and I all thought about a movie. On, on today's episode, and, and probably going forward, the rate matic will now reflect only what I think of a film, and we'll get to what you guys thought in just a second. Yeah, a three. I thought this was a bad film. Uh, many parts of this movie worked individually, but as a whole, it really dropped the ball in my opinion. It didn't know what it wanted to be, a drama, a comedy, a romance plot. And at the end of the day, I didn't really care for it. As